Hello everybody and welcome to my 21st VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use for loops to fill in an array with values and so let's just get rid of this so first of all we're going to declare an array so dim my array and we want to make it just one dimensional we're going to give it nine elements as and let's make them integers and then we are going to do our for loop so for and we're going to call our variable i and this time i'm going to declare my variable first so dim i as integer and then for i equals zero to and then we want to put in nine and then next. So the reason I've chosen 0 to 9 rather than 1 to 10 as before is because although there's 10 in elements in this array, the index goes from 0 to 9. So I want my index variable here to go from 0 through to 9. And then I just want to put in, uh, I'm going to make the values of the array. So my array, and then I can use my variable there as the index for the array. So I don't actually have to put in 1, 2, 3, or 4, or 5, 0, etc. I can actually put in a variable integer in there as the index instead. So this is where arrays are really going to come into their own and also for loops are really going to become useful. So then let's down here, let's do another for loop. So this for loop is just going to write the, uh, I'm going to put a new. I'm going to put do a new integer. So let's put dim x as integer. I'm going to put four x equals zero to nine again. So we're going to go through all the elements again, and then this time I'm going to make a the values on the sheet. So if we, I'm going to make these value ten values here equal to the elements of my array. So let's go this workbook dot sheets sheet one dot cells and then for the row instead of putting in the number of the row I'm again I'm gonna use my integer here. But because I want them to go from rows one to ten rather than rows zero to nine which would throw me an error message because you can't have a row zero. I'm going to plus one onto it. And then for my column, I just want column one and then dot value. And I'm going to make that equal to my array and then the x index. So let's just recap this. So I've declared an array with 10 elements indexing from zero through to nine. Then declared an integer for my first for loop that's going to loop through from the index of 0 through to 9 and it's going to fill in the array with the values of the index in that array. It's then going to relay these to the, sh to the sheet with a loop that's just going to go through all the elements in the array and it's just going to write those out. So let's press play on this and somehow I've got that slightly wrong, haven't I? Okay, so the reason it's not working, and it took me a while to work that one out, sorry. So it equals I. So the reason it's not working is because I just stuck in the the array reference there, but I hadn't actually made it equal to anything. So if you put equal I there to make it equal to the value of I, and then press play, and then if we go into our spreadsheet and then it's just got the values there so 0 through to 9 and then if we just pop back into our code and so that's how you would use a for loop to go through an array so one last thing just before I finish you don't actually need to know how many indexes your array has uh, in the first place so what you can use is just you can use a keyword called ubound and open bracket and then just pass it the array 
close bracket and then what this is going to do is U-Bound works out how many elements there are in the array of what the maximum index is and it returns that so we can put this in instead of our 9 and if we press play then you'll notice it's done exactly the same thing if we get rid of these and just run it again just so you can prove that it's done it and there you go so uh, if you don't know how many what the IDs in your array are or you, you know you're not going to know in your code then U-Bound is a really useful one for just working out how what the maximum ID you can go to is so that's that's it for this tutorial and uh, thanks for listening if you're enjoying these please subscribe and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial